All right, so we have our USB stick prepared. I'm on battery power, as you can see, so that if this, if we get a power outage, I won't be, uh, I won't break my board, my system will keep running. So there's a few things we gotta do in this BIOS first before we proceed with the flash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and power on. And I forgot to turn my mouse on. Darn it. Okay, we are in the BIOS. Oh, I gotta turn my mouse on. Now the first thing we want to do here is we're gonna go to boot and secure boot. And it looks like it's already disabled. Good. That helps. Um, another thing we want to do is go to save and exit. We're going to load optimize defaults because I want to, if you notice, I got an undervolt going on here. I got PBO. I don't want that having a role, uh, in the, uh, flashing. So, oh, sorry. We're going to go ahead and save and exit there. Go back to stock settings and reboot. Yeah, I forgot I uh, I forgot I turned secure boot off and didn't turn it back on. All right, so we're back to basics here. Back to stock settings. Another thing we're going to do, we're going to go to advanced mode. Okay. We're going to go to boot. Make a uh, secure boot. And it's active again. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable it. And we got to change that to custom. There we go. So secure boot is disabled. And we need to go to settings. AMD CBS. SOC miscellaneous control. We got to go to secure bio. Disable that. And then we need to go to app, app, firmware anti rollback. R is disabled. Okay. Oh, that's a fusing system. Yeah, we don't want to do that. But let me double check here. What is AMT support? Okay, that's for KVMs. Secure bio, primary Pluton. Let's see. We should be okay. Oh crap. I wanted to I wanted to check something else out. Let me look at the Pluton options. Okay, that's not gonna be the problem there. We want to verify that our overboot, yep, it looks like our undervolt is uh taken care of. We want to make sure. Yep. Good. So our under our undervolt's good. Um, and from there, let me say let me reboot since I did this, uh, disable secure boot. I can't have secure boot going in here. So let me save and exit and go right back into BIOS. Yep, that'll work. Okay, let's double check and make sure secure boot is off. Good, secure boot is disabled. Everything else is disabled. I'm at stock settings. So another thing we need to do is do use our boot. Oh, not mm, the boot override worked. <laughs> so here we go. As you notice, we're booting up into our UV shell. Now we got to go upwards to find out which one is our USB stick. And it's looking like, according to my mapping table, it's going to be FS4. So what we're going to do, go back and page down. At this shell prompt, type SS4 
zero. Colon. No, FS4. Colon. There we go. Type either LS. Yep. That are there's our flashing files. Another thing that you can type here is D I R, the old DOS command for directory. And that'll work. Now from here we're just going to type flash dot nsh and here it goes it's going to verify the file file is protected by secure flash it's going to reboot there we go and away we are it'll reboot and uh, begin the flash Looks like I'm getting the long memory train. No, nope, guess not. And here we are. We're going from F34E to F34F. And it's a relatively small update. And once this is taken care of, we're going to fix our secure boot. Oh, I just had to have a drink of coffee. Sorry about that. Nice little slurp off camera. We're going to, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, take care of secure boot after this is done. And then um, I'm going to restore my undervolt and I uh, get right back into uh, the OS. This process takes about five to seven minutes, depending on what it's doing. It looks like it's doing a capsule update, so it's going by pretty quickly. It's probably gonna take only maybe three minutes total. We're at 94%. And we're done. So we're going to reboot in four seconds. Then we're going to show you what we need to do to get um, secure boot all squared away. And we're ready to roll here. Should be waking up any time. I'm going to do the long memory train. There it is. Okay, and now let's compare what we got here. Yeah, we got F34. It's in there. This is uh, Agisa 1202A. 1202B has already been uh, deployed, but Gigabyte doesn't have a BIOS out for that. So first thing we're gonna do is go to advanced mode, go to boot, go to secure boot. And you have a notice here, secure boot says is it's in setup mode. Secure boot is enabled, but it's not active. Secure boot mode is standard. What we do here is click standard and go to custom. Now these other options haven't uh, that were grayed out are now available. Go to Expert Key Management, and if we go at to the top, it'll say Vendor Keys Valid. If you see this message, you're good to go. Also, you notice that your databases are zero. So as long as you see Vendor Keys Valid, what you do is you click Restore Factory Keys. It'll tell you click Yes to proceed and No to cancel. Click Yes. Now right here where it says Reset Without Saving, click No. 
and there you go. Notice your database gets updated in real time. And if we go to the previous menu, you are now in user mode. Secure boot is enabled, active, and you're all ready to roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save and exit and let that take care of itself. Now that secure boot is good. Then after that, I'm going to restore my underboat. And then I'll restore most of my settings. Whoops. Okay. Now that we got... We verify secure boot is good. Yep, secure boot is fine. Now we're going to go to load profile. Oh, crap. Load profile. I still got my uh, USB stick in there. Now I, I'm going to my 4 terabyte uh, center drive. Under V is my Undervolt profile. It's loaded. Then we're going to go to Save and Exit. And there we go. Once this reboots, there's just a few things that I'd like to change and disable that I'm not using. And then continue to my OS. And we're good to go. I'm just going to confirm... Oh, we're hanging on CPU light for some reason. I don't know, I'm liking that. There we go. We're getting a long memory train, apparently. There, I had to remove my flash stick. All right. So, let's see. Gotta make sure my undervolt took. So, we're gonna go to Advanced CPU Settings. PBO. Go to Advanced, PBO Limits, um, do, do, do Manual, yep, my values are there, you see, see, now I gotta go to Curve Optimizer, go to All Cores, this is one thing that does not get saved, and that is your Curve Optimizer settings, so I gotta go Negative, and I'm going to go 15. Okay. Yeah, does everything there looks good. Let me go to Tweaker again. PBO is disabled. I usually don't enable that. Okay, Expo. We're going to go Expo 1. Low latency enabled. High bandwidth enabled. And I think that'll be it for, oh yeah, power down and memory context restore got moved to right there in the main menu, uh, memory menu, so that's cool, it's right there where it's available. Oh, and it, but it does that. You press escape to go back one and that happens. Um, CPU and VRM settings. What I like to do here is change my load line calibration to medium on both okay we're looking good platform power power loading instant off ERP is disabled that looks good IO ports I usually turn off the integrated graphics and turn off the audio controller because I got a discrete card um, I do turn on uh, virtualization. Gigabyte downloader, we disable that. USB, looking good. I usually disable legacy support. NVMe, looks good. Yep. There's um, one more thing I think I changed here. My SATA configuration is um, hot plug. Hot plug is always enabled. I disable that. And network stack is fine. Um, two, 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 miscellaneous. Yeah, that's looking good. 
Um, I don't think I have to change anything else. Yeah, I don't change anything else. Let's go to system info. SPD info, looking good. Plug-in devices, looking good. Oh yeah, hold up. Plug-in devices. There. CPU config. Looking good there, IDE. Hey, everything looks good here. So we're we're all set. This is how you do the UP Shell uh, Vinyl Splash on Gigabyte AOS motherboards. I hope you like what you see here. Ring the bell and subscribe. Let me save and exit and get to the Windows screen. Oh yeah, because I've got my uh, my undervolt there. I'm doing a negative uh, curve optimizer. It does sit on the CPU light a little long, a little long. No, it's doing DRAM. That's the DRAM light. Okay. VGA. Yep. And we're good. Everything is enabled. DDR5, 6000. My expo timings are good. My frequency looks good. Temperatures are great. It looks like we are ready to roll and get into the OS. So what we will do here is just simply use the boot override so we don't have to reboot uh, this again. And there we are. Ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We're going to see you in the next one.